Hi everyone, I just wanted to preface this video by um, wishing everyone a happy holidays, merry Christmas, uh, happy new year, and I also wanted to add that I'm very ill right now, so if you're wondering why I sound even worse than usual, uh, that's why. So, I'm sorry about that, but I wanted to get this video out, um, so yeah, please enjoy. In 2011, Nintendo launched Pushmo, or Pull Blocks as it's known in Europe and Australia, a game by Intelligent Systems on the 3DS eShop. It was a platforming puzzle game all about pushing and pulling blocks in order to form a path to reach the top of each level. It was one of the 3DS eShop's first big hits, selling well enough to warrant a successor being released one year later called Crashmo, which mixed up the mechanics a bit. Now blocks would fall and crash to the ground as you made your way to the goal. The series took a short break before it returned in 2014 with its first game on a home console, Pushmo World on Wii U. This was a direct sequel to the original Pushmo, using the same mechanics to deliver new puzzles on a slightly larger scale. Around the time that Intelligent Systems wrapped up development on that game, the same team was internally discussing the prospect of revisiting the gameplay of Crashmo. According to developers at the company, they pitched to Nintendo a project that would give Crashmo the same treatment that Pushmo received in Pushmo World, an HD follow-up on Wii U in which the developers would continue to polish the formula and further explore the possibilities presented by its mechanics. Nintendo soon gave them the green light, and Crashmo World as they were calling it ended full-scale development in 2015. A very small team and intelligent systems was working on it. Development continued for around a year. As 2016 went by however, its future became less certain. Around the time that work finished on Intelligent Intelligence of a Wii U game, Paper Mario Color Splash, the company began to move over resources to develop projects for the Nintendo Switch. Before long, they had multiple games in development for Nintendo's upcoming system. Crash More World was intended to be their final Wii U release, a small passion project lingering in the background while their other teams worked on higher budget experiences. Although, as December 2016 approached, Intelligence Switch projects began to demand more resources. According to sources at the company, Nintendo had itself was perfectly content with the Crashmo Wii U game being made, but the management of intelligent systems were less sure. While the previous Pushmo and Crashmo games were seen as being successful, the sales potential of their Switch projects was seen as being greater. Intelligent systems sought to prioritise them. In December, development on Crashmo World was finally stopped. Their Switch projects required as many of the company's workers as possible, and so the higher-ups decided to shut down their last Wii U game and transition its developers into working on them. By the end, a good amount of the puzzles going into the game were set to be finished. It was on schedule to launch in 2017. For a time, there were discussions internally about altering Crashmo World into a Nintendo Switch game, but these talks eventually fizzled out. The game is no more, and there are currently no signs that it will be revived, although there is always that opportunity should the studio decide to ever pursue it. Be sure to check out my other new video, a documentary on a cancelled open world, The Flash Game.